Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're just north of Montreal. We're taking a look at this uh, 2010 F-150. This is the XLT model. Starting with the walk around, uh, just look around the wheel well, or just behind the wheels there. A little bit of rust. The car is uh, has changed color, as you can see. It was red, then it was painted black. Well, you can see it around the trim pieces uh, all around the car. There are some leftover uh, stickers that were removed. But here you have a little bit of rust that's been covered up. The tires are Yokohama. They are winter tires. You can see the chassis. In the back is not bad. Just the wheel wells. Leaf springs are okay here. You can see the red in the, in the background there. It has the Flex Fuel uh, logo. The box in the back, it's not in such a bad shape, but it seems like something was installed here and uh, was removed later. Rear window, rear bumper, nice and clean. Showing you the undercarriage uh, too. Spare tire, two attachments. A little bit of rust here too, you can see it. Tires match all around, made in 2015. There are optional summer tires, uh, well, optional. Uh, the seller said that if if you want to make a deal for them, then uh, they will consider. Apparently, it's these tires here. I'll probably do a, a season at best. And these are general tires. I can't see the date. 275-60-R20. Rubber is okay, shows a little small cracks, but uh, overall I'd say less than 10 years old, but still. All right, we're back to the car now. The, uh, let's see some sticker leftovers here. It's manufacturing date is uh, July 2009. Interior, not a bad shape for a car that has, uh, I believe it's 300,000 kilometers. Now let's just confirm that. Confirm it for you. I've done most of the inspection so far. Yep, 300. There is there's probably an issue with one of the uh, doors. Yep, for the air conditioning. For 300,000 kilometers though, not bad. Um, given that, you know, it changed color. There was a, there were a few things that were um, done to the car. So, let's see. Here. Let's take in the last uh, few digits of the VIN. FA00630. Let's see if it matches here. FA00630. I usually do that when uh, cars change, uh, change colors because you never know if uh, the whole door was replaced or not. A little bit of rust there. Uh, you can see it as well in the corner. There. Done a computer scan, taken pictures of the computer codes. Steering wheel is a little worn out. Taking a lot of pictures of the car so far. You can see there's a water leaking stains here. Driver seat, obviously more worn out than the rest of the car. Carpets are summer carpets. Let's open up uh, the engine. go. 
Triton 5.4. Tested the battery, it's uh, it's okay. Um, engine overall seems all right. I didn't start it yet, because uh, we're indoors. I haven't tested uh, the lights yet, or the horn. Uh, some things that, that need to be tested while during the test drive. The brake fluid is full. The brakes are a little less than half here in the front and uh, they're about halfway in the back remaining seems like some hoses were recently replaced I'm just gonna zoom in to show you the silver hoses coolant freezing temperature is a pass but you can see the red uh, the original color of the car clearly shows in the background front end I'll do a pan out for the under carriage under carriage condition didn't see any leaks I I did open the radiator cap, which leaked a little bit, so you might see it under, but uh, other than that, I didn't find anything, uh, visually speaking. Windshield is aftermarket, roof, let's take a look. And the roof overall is not bad, it's not bad. But given the overall uh, condition and the mileage and age of the car, there is a tire pressure monitoring system fault. What I think needs is some attention. Passenger side. Have the sink. Well, the screen works. Passenger side, A rear. All right. Again, the usual, the usual spots of rust here, and around the wheel wells. Little in the undercarriage as well. I'll show you. But these are original Ford side steps, and put my full weight on them, and they're fine. All right, we'll do a fun walk around, then we'll uh, take the car for a test drive. And there you have it. This has been a pre-purchase inspection of this uh, 2010 F-150. This is the XLT, so it's an all-wheel drive and uh, comes with a Triton engine. And uh, it's got a lot of mileage. For the mileage, the car is in uh, okay condition, but, um, but you have to keep in mind that the mileage is high and uh, 
the car would require significant repairs in the uh, uh, in the next say 50 or 100,000 kilometers or something I've done a paint thickness verification uh, you can see it the entire car has been repainted and if you really pay attention to the rear you'll see that there right above the fuel filler cap you see that waviness uh, that's been probably a scratch or or a dent or something or maybe an accident that was repaired so yeah uh, given the uh, given the age and the mileage of the car as mentioned it's okay but uh, you have to uh, factor in some repairs in the uh, in the near future okay well uh, this is Vincent from Car Inspected. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.